guys, this is Chang, so we're going here with another video. And today, well, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the mod. I've learned how to do this since August, July, I think, no, June. June 30th, somewhere around that. And yeah, so today we aren't going to be playing Minecraft, as I said. Um, Today is going to be a tutorial. I know I've said that I'm going to do this. No, I haven't really gotten to it, but you know, I'm finally going to get to it. And yeah, let's get started, guys. So, the first things you are guys are going to need are Forge, Java, 7-Zip, and Eclipse. Now, if you guys already have something related to 7-Zip, then, you know, you don't need it if it does the same thing, which I'll show you guys in a couple minutes. Um, but, also guys, this is meant, this one right now is meant for Windows. I'm going to be posting a Mac one later this week. I hope you I can get to it. It's probably going to be the same process, just there's a little different thing that I'm going to need to show you guys on the Mac or Apple or whatever it is. So, yeah, let's get to it. Guys, the first thing you guys are going to need is Forge. Minecraft Forge, it's files.minecraftforge.net, files.minecraftforge.net, it's, um, um, it allows you to download mods and stuff like that. It also allows you to you know, just, you know, do stuff. You know, so guys, download the version that you want to download your mod for. It will have the same exact blocks, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure it will. So either 1.8 or 1.7.10, guys. So either one you guys want is fine. Um, I'm going to go with 1.8. And you guys are going to want to download the recommended because, you know, that's the one you're going to need. Um... If you download the latest, it may not be as good, and it also doesn't have the source. You want the source one, not the change log, chang, ch change log, sorry, installer, installer win, or universal. You want the source. So, once you find the source, click on that, and then, when you click on that, this will, pa this will you know, pop up. None of this, you want absolutely none of this, guys absolutely none of this see your software see my antivirus will automatically just stop this from even popping up because you know they just they know that it's bad so you will see the skip button in this right hand corner you, you click on that skip it will skip the you know advertisement even forge says so and then once you see that it will pop down right here forage so just leave that there guys don't worry about it when yeah we will unpack that zip it out in a later moment so next thing we're going to need is java se okay, so the next thing you guys are going to need is java se development kit no, it's at this website up here, the URL. You guys will not need to type this all in. I will leave this in the description below. It's just like a Java development kit that will allow you to, um, you know, code, basically. Um, so, the thing you guys are going to want is... Okay, sorry. Um, the thing you guys are going to want is the Java SE development kit AU60 okay once you do that you guys are going to want to accept license agreement once you do that then you will be able to download it so accept that license agreement it says thank you thank you so after it says thank you choose the type you guys are Mac whatever it is guys Download that. So I am personally Windows 64. So that's going to download down here in the bottom. So while that's doing that, guys, we will go to the next thing we need. Guys, right, so the next thing you guys are going to need is 7-Zip. 7-Zip allows you to extract the, the file to a certain place, which is going to what you're going to need for um, extracting footage. So what you guys are going to want to download is... Well, you're first going to want to go to www.summonzip.org. I'll leave all of them in the description below, all these links to the websites. Um, so you're going to want to download, not the beta version, but 
you're going to want to download the top one. It's totally free, you won't download virus, promise you. So, you're going to want to download either the MSC, I, MSI or EXE. So, I downloaded the EXE. Um, it works fine. So, yeah. I'll click that download button. It should download up there. And, yeah. So, next thing we're going to need to download is... Well, I don't know. We'll see you guys in a second. So the next thing you guys are going to want is Eclipse, like I said before. So once you're in Eclipse, then you guys are going... I'll leave it in the description below, Eclipse.org, slash download, slash other stuff. I'll leave it in the description below so you guys won't have to type it up. So you're going to want to scroll down until you find Eclipse IDE for Java developers. That's the one you're going to want. So you're going to click on that. It's going to take you to this part right here. You're going to scroll down until you find the download links, and then you're going to click on which one it is. So personally, I have only six for a bit. I said that five quadrillion times. But yeah, that's the one you guys are going to want. So, click that. Once you click on that, then you're going to go down, click Downloads. Once you click Downloads, it's going to say thank you. You know, you could donate if you want to. I haven't. Yeah. So, guys, next thing we're going to do is wanting to download the all these things. They can't run until you install them, you know. So, I'll show you guys how to do that in just a couple seconds guys now before we can actually start um modding we gotta install them so we already have them all downloaded now you have to install them so the first two things you have to install before the other two are 7-zip and jdk so we're gonna install jdk first so what you're gonna do is double click on jdk uh this thing right here you can double click Allow it to run as administrator. Press yes when it asks you, because that's the one you want. You want it to run JDK. So, do not click no, or else it just won't run. So after that, it will bring up in a wizard, a wizard, and then just follow the steps. Press next, agree, next, stuff like that, and then it will install it all. From there, um, you're going to want to install 7-zip. So it's up here, right? The 7Z920. It's going to look the same. It may not have the same one, depending if you install the 32-bit. Um, yeah. So this right here is the 7-zip. And also, if you are a Mac user, do not install the 7-zip. Do not. I told you before that you don't need it if you're Mac. You do need JDK. You can install that, but yeah. So, after you install that, you are going to want to go back. Wait, what am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. Hold on a second. Maybe we could have it. We could have it? I mean, we could put it. Hold on a second. I'll be back. That over. I know what I'm doing now. So, after that, you're going to right-click Forge 1.7.10. Now, if you installed 7-zip correctly, there should be this 7-zip thing saying extract to Forge, uh, and then there should be this arrow. Do not click 7-zip, um, just hover over it, and then go down to extract to Forge 1.8, or whatever it is. So, um, I'm using 1.8, so I do 7-zip, extract to that, and after I extracted that, it should be called Forge 1.8-11.14. I just changed it to example, just so I can remember that this one is the one I'm using. Um, but it should say that. It should show up like this, not zipped up, hence the name, zipped folder. It should be unzipped, so if you did that correctly, then... Yeah, so guys, if you're a Mac user, do not do that, because, first of all, you don't even have 7-zip. And if you do know how to unzip it, then great, unzip it. But if you don't, I will be doing one, I hopefully, this week, posting it out. I'm sorry for you, Mac users. Okay, so for the other thing, which is also, if you know how to unzip it, Mac, do that. If you don't, just hold on for me. Um, Right-click Eclipse Java. And then you're going to want to extract to do the... No, I'm sorry, guys. What am I saying? What you're going to want to do is do extract all. You don't have to 7-zip this one. You just want to extract it all. 
So if you extract it all, it should then pop up in your downloads folder. Now it's not here right now. It should look exactly like this except name Eclipse Java Mars dash one that thing. But I moved it to my program files. That's where if you guys would like you can move it there too because that's a really good spot to put it actually. Um because then it's with all your other programs and stuff like that. So that's why it's not here guys. Um yeah. So guys also if you have any errors tell me it. I mean I would really like to help you guys with this process. Um, please make sure you tell me any errors that you guys have had, um, either doing installing or anything, anything, even in the future. If you guys have any errors, just tell me in the comments below, um, and I will try and get on that and try and fix it. So after you extract that and put your Eclipse thing into your program files, if you want, shift right click your for for forge folder shift right click then you're going to want to open command window here open command window here so once you do that you should see something like voila pop up so after you see that pop up you should type in right here grad lu set up decomp workspace and then Eclipse. So guys, I will leave this in the description below what you need to type in at this point. So you guys don't have to remember this. I know it's a little confusing, but after that, you're going to press Enter. So after pressing Enter, it's going to do its thing. So guys, it may take longer. It may take up to like five minutes if, um you know, your computer is a little slow or something like that. Um, because it needs to totally, like, just, this is basically taking Minecraft code and putting it into Eclipse, which is going to be your, where you're going to code on, basically. So, that's what that's going to do. So, after that's done, which we shall wait for, because it's going to take probably, like, 20 more seconds. Yeah. So, while we wait. Um, Mac users, once again, I'll show you guys how to do this part, because, um, you don't have that shift right click thing, it doesn't have that, um, it's called the terminal, if you know how to get to that, then I'll still show you guys, because it's a different process than this, so, uh, be patient, I'm sorry. Um, so after that, you can just basically, if it's a build successful, you know what's good, if it's a build failed, it should give you something on why it didn't work, make sure you put that in comments below to, um, Tell me. I will try to fix that. And yeah. So after you do that, then you guys are going to want to go to your Eclipse folder. So since mine's in the program files, I'm going to go to my Eclipse folder. So the way you do that, uh, where, wherever you put it, click your unzipped one. Okay, then there should be a one folder called Eclipse, then there should be an application. If there is an application, you didn't unzip it correctly. Um, you don't have to 7-zip it, just extract all. And after that, you're going to double-click it, or right-click open. I also like that one. I like it a little more because then you don't spam it. But, yeah. So once you guys are, if I will show you guys, hold on. I need to put this into my recording software so you guys can see what's going on. There you go. Okay. So once you guys see this, then you guys are going to... Hold on. Let me just put this front and center position center. There you go. So you guys see this? Then you guys are going to want to put this browse button. You guys are going to want to click this browse button. So, after you click this browse button, then you're going to, uh, then this shall pop up. I can get it. There you go. Um, position. This should pop up, okay? So once that pops up, you guys are going to want to find wherever you put your Forge 
unzipped folder. So where I put it was just in my downloads folder. So then you're going to want to click on example or whatever it was called. Maybe you just guys left it forge. So if you left it forge, click on forge, but you're not done there. Do not click OK. Scroll down until you find Eclipse. It should say Eclipse. So once you find this, it should say that. So then it should say exactly where it is. See that users, download, example, Eclipse. So make sure there's that Eclipse at the end and also the name of your folder. You should be good. Then click OK. And then once you click OK, this thing should pop up. Like, give it a second. Give it a second. It's downloading. Okay. Let me just add. This. Guys, this is what should pop up. If this pops up, you know that you got it correct. Because this Minecraft folder should be right here. Right here. So once you know that is in there, then this should drop down. should all be there. It's amazing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw it. It looks amazing, guys. So, guys, if this didn't pop up, make sure you leave in the comments below. Um, um, I'll try and, like, help you guys out and make sure you type why it didn't work. I will um, make another video, maybe, if a lot of people didn't have it work. I'll make another video saying um, some possible bugs or errors that might happen. And make sure, Mac, stay patient. I will post that video, hopefully, this week. So, yeah. Um, guys, if we can get up to 50 subscribers and 50 likes on this video, because this video is the core of it all. If you don't watch this video, you can't code at all. So if we get 50 likes on this video, and if I get 50 subscribers, then I will teach you guys how to code a resource pack too. I know you guys could also just, um, do the, uh, whatchamacallit, you could just do the photos. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to make a resource pack, but this, hopefully, will make it look a little cooler. And also, yeah, so if you guys are also wondering, hey, what are we going to do our texture packs with? I mean, our textures with for blacks or things. I'll show you guys that in the next video. So make sure, subscribers, 50 likes in this video, and I will make a resource pack. All right, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Adios.